about 10 years ago, uh, I received a call from the late Dr. David Bush, who was testing cells from patients uh, suspected of having xeroderma pigmentosum, and he uh, found the cells from a, a patient who was a young boy with melanoma who had uh, defective uh, DNA repair. Uh, we brought that him to the National Institutes of Health to uh, study when he was 12 years old and we realized he did not have xeroderma pigmentosum but he had unusual features of uh, pigmented lesions and uh, deafness. When we uh, examined him two years later we found that he had developed a melanoma behind his ear and the genetic uh, counselor uh, examined him and thought that he might have features of the George syndrome so we did a karyotype and discovered that he had a translocation between chromosomes 9 and 22. We then embarked on a study to do more clinical examination of the patient and uh, detailed laboratory studies that they formed the basis of this paper. We had the opportunity to perform high resolution MR imaging of this patient's inner ear apparatus and in contrast to the normal inner ear uh, there were a number of developmental abnormalities including incomplete winding of the cochlea with a much reduced number of turns. In addition, the vestibule and semicircular canals were incompletely formed. Now, with the presence of a cochlea, one might consider the ability to augment hearing with a cochlear implant, but a detailed examination of the internal auditory canals reveals the presence of only the facial nerve and a complete absence of the cochlear nerve, as well as an absence of the vestibular nerves. So one nerve within the canal, as opposed to the normal uh, complement of four nerves. Ken Kramer brought this case to my attention, which had a very interesting translocation that was not easy to map. We had tried by uh, array CGH, but uh, the deletion wasn't apparent. So we turned to physically separating the partnered chromosomes in the reciprocal translocation. To do that, we used the skills of Gary Stone, who had expertise in chromosome flow sorting. Uh, that allowed us to physically separate the two chromosomes and precisely map the breakpoints using high resolution CGH arrays. From that information, it was pretty much possible to go ahead and uh, map the uh, precise breakpoint at the nucleotide resolution. I've worked on this project for five years. Um, in this study, we made a great effort to map the breakpoint since the breakpoint on chromosome 22 lies in the unclonable gap. Using, five, using hundreds of pairs of the primer and the um, clone, backlongs and the probes, we finally localized the breakpoint on chromosome 22 at the breakpoint hotspots PETR22. It allowed us to find a new gene, FAM238, and identify a chimeric transcriptor, which is a negative regulator for p 14 rf and TBX1. Okay, we made a summary model to explain that our findings. The uh, translocation between chromosome 9 and 22 uh, produced a chimeric message that had <clears throat> part of 9 and uh, part of 22. Uh, this produced a uh, dominant negative repression of the untranslocated chromosome 9 and uh, the TBX1 on chromosome 22, resulting in a reduced DNA repair and abnormal uh, formation of the uh, inner ear. Uh, experimentally, we were able to use siRNA uh, to reduce the expression of this uh, chimera and reversed uh, some of these abnormalities uh, showing uh, uh, increased level of P14 ARF and uh, increased DNA repair. And so we think this is a model of dominant negative uh, repression induced by the uh, translocation.